So this is a quick video on Mastercam level usage. You'll see I have the levels dialog box open. Now on 2020 Mastercam, there's these quick uh, access um, tabs um, here. To ever find it, if they're not there, go to view, and then you'll see your levels tab right here, the display for levels manager. You'll see right now we have one level. The first level is going to be whatever we draw here. So right now I'm just going to draw a box. It's going to reference our stock. I'm going to anchor to center three by three. Okay, so 3.0 and 3.0. There it is. Okay. I'm going to rename this as stock. And notice I have four entities. Next part, I'm going to draw some circles. That'll be the drilled holes. I'm going to add, right, to make a new level. I'm going to call this holes. And now I'm going to draw the first hole location. All right at minus 0.3 comma minus 0.3 comma zero and i'm going to give it a diameter of a quarter of an inch all right so there's our first hole i'm um, then going to use some different transform tools here uh, just randomly uh, hopefully somebody will pick something up from this but i'm going to just translate this one over uh, 0.6 in the x and make sure it goes to the opposite side and I could keep going this way. Um, it doesn't really matter for right now. Um, you know, you can go uh, define side and you could do another instance and take care of it, which we could do. Um, we can go to opposite sides or both sides and delete this circle. There's options here. Uh, so for right now, I'm just going to go to opposite side and do just one like that. Hit apply. Select the two. And then I'm going to change the X to a zero and the Y to minus 0.6. I will then uh, define side and there's our four holes. Green check. I'm then going to mirror these around to get the pattern I'm looking for. There's one. There's the other. I will then spin these around using rotate. Okay, move. And now we're all set. Now notice we have 16 holes on this level. Here's what's real nice about this. Now this is not a part that really warrants this, but it's a simple example to really isolate what levels is doing. I can turn the stock on or off to stock reference geometry. I can right click and make level one the stock active, which is what I'm drawing on, and I can turn the holes on or off. Okay. You could also click right click on an entity, or let's just for example, I'll do a you know example hole. And instead of drawing a new hole, you can right click, analyze entity properties, go to this tab down here, level, and change the level to level three, and hit green check. Now you'll see that the example hole, if I make, let's say, the stock, uh, I'll turn the stock on and make it active, I can turn that hole on or off separately. I can turn these off and leave that one. So you see that levels gives you a ton of control over what you want to do. If I were to extrude this, I can make the solid its own level. Uh, you can make any sort of levels you want. So if you're an AutoCAD user, you'll definitely be familiar with this. If not, know that this is a good way to go. Uh, for this part here, if we were going to actually make this, I wouldn't focus on that. But when things get more advanced and you have different pieces of geometry, avoidance geometry and containment geometry and all different types of referencing geometry that control your toolpath, the ability to turn them on or off separately using levels is key. So I hope that was helpful. <laughs>